So our inheritance, if we win the coming election, will actually be of British retreat in foreign affairs at the very time that power in the world is in any case shifting rapidly to the east. It is argued that in such a world, Britain can only exercise its influence through the European Union. Now, I say the EU is one very important way in which we do that. And that indeed, when it comes to dealing with Iran over nuclear policy, Russia over energy security, or the Balkans to prevent new conflict or disorder, we need Europe to use its collective weight in the world, and indeed to do so more often, if anything. But under a conservative government, there will be something else. There will be a distinctive British foreign policy geared to the promotion of the British national interest. And it will be advanced, yes, through the European Union, but it will also be advanced through the alliance with the United States that the current government have recently mismanaged through new friendships beyond North America and Europe, which they have neglected to build, and through networks such as the Commonwealth that they have never bothered to remember at all. We should never be ashamed of saying that we will promote our own national interest. For the British national interest is no narrow agenda. The pursuit of what I like to call our enlightened national interest means using our diplomacy to promote free trade and sound development aid, to support with great energy the cause of Middle East peace, to use all our skills in the prevention of conflict in Africa, and to work with other members of the UN Security Council to see that international law is respected and upheld. It is not in our character in this country to have a foreign policy without a conscience, to be idle or uninterested while others starve or murder each other in their millions is simply not for us. And in the face of the two greatest threats to human welfare and peace in our generation, nuclear proliferation and climate change. It means we reject the strategic shrinkage of Britain's role. We will renew and reinforce our engagement with the rest of the world. We refuse to be agents for the management of our country's decline. 